Hello again, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and this is episode 339, Draw on Your Screen During Screencasts with VB Doodle. So if you are like me and you create screencast classes, one of the issues that you get into is how to draw your viewer's attention to certain places on the screen. So if you are trying to, to capture a screenshot of network configurations or of web Web analytics. The problem is, is you can talk about it, but how do you get people to focus and really see what you're talking about on the screen? Well, the, the, the tool that I have found that is absolutely wonderful, I've found really no problems with it so far, is a free tool called VB Doodle. So VB Doodle allows me that when I'm doing a screencast for you guys, I can hit the window V button. A little, a little applet uh, pops up, and then I can start writing on the screen. So I can write on the screen, I can highlight text, I can create rectangles and circles. Basically, I can very easily and quickly draw your attention to a place on the screen so that you guys understand what is going on. So th again, this is a, a fr free, simple tool um, that there's there's not much to it. All you do is you would download it from CNET.com, uh, from download uh, you you install it and then as I say all you do is you hit the window V button and it will pop up so I want to show you uh, how this works uh, just to show you how very 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 easy it is so this is my computer screen right now because I'm going to be demonstrating uh, using my, my, my YouTube analytics so all I do is I press the Windows V button and the little uh, application will show up. So we see this little toolbox over in the upper left hand corner. So I can transition to that little toolbox and we can see that it gives me a number of options. It gives me things like the color. So this is the colors of the lines that are going to be created. It gives me some font sizes. I can write text so it gives me some text options. But then the most important thing is it gives me these drawing tools. So if I click on the little pen button I can very easily draw on the screen. If I hit the circle button, it will create a circle around where um, I just clicked my little mouse. I can do a rectangle. I can very easily create a rectangle like that, and I can create a line simply by doing that. So that is how easy it is to use this little VB uh, Doodle uh, application. Now why this is important is again, um, a lot of times when you are creating classes, when I am creating classes, uh, and it's a screencast, there's a lot of information on the screen. So sometimes it can be very difficult to, to tell you guys what you should be paying attention to. So by using this little tool, what I can do is I can go, um, to a page like this. So again, this is my YouTube analytics. And if I am trying to draw your attention to a certain place on the analytics, I can very easily do that. So if I want to sh talk about a single episode here, by simply using this tool, I can now highlight this episode so you can see, oh, whatever I'm talking about within this rectangle, this is what I'm talking about. Then I can go over and I can start talking about the analytics for this episode. So again, I can very quickly create a rectangle around that information. I can then come back and I can highlight it. So I can talk about, so in episode 338, we can see that I had 5,000 uh, different uh, views. We can see I had 106 thumbs up, four, uh, what is it? four thumbs down, and 39 comments. So that is all very easy to do. I can use the drawing tool. I can circle the information so I can go, you know, we're talking about episode 338, but if we compare that to episode 335, we can see that episode 335 had different analytics, and episode 335, I think, worked better than episode 338. You know, so on and so forth. Basically, it's just a very easy way to draw your attention to different places on the screen. So you can know you can do circles. Uh, if we do this drawing, this font size, we can change the fonts. We can change how big things are. Um, so you know, now now we can draw bigger. Basically, it's all very simple. Then what's nice, again, this is a very easy tool to use. So once I've drawn all over the screen and made a mess of everything, I can click the little X button over under Image Options. Um, 
right there, and now everything goes away. So I can scribble on the screen, I can create circles on the screen, I can do rectangles, or oops, rectangles on the screen, and then when I want them to go away, I just hit X, and then if I want this toolbox to go away entirely, all I have to do is hit the minimize to tray arrow button, uh, and it all goes away. So that is all there is uh, to using this VB Doodle tool. I've been using it for a little bit now, and really there are no issues. Again, there's a little bit of a learning curve uh, just to get used to it, but once you've gotten over the learning curve, it is very simple to use um, during, a, uh, during, during a class. Now, if you're going to be using this, um, you can go to, uh, to CNET, you know, download.cnet.com and just download VB Doodle. This is a free application. Now, one of the interesting things is the manufacturer of this apparently says they no longer manufacture this. So as far as licensing goes, I'm not really sure what that means. But, but as, as far as the licensing uh, within the software states, it states that it is free software. Hopkins Programming, the, the company that created this, seems to no longer care about it. Uh, so apparently if you just go to CNET, uh, download.cnet.com, you'll be able to use it and install it to your heart's content and you shouldn't have any licensing issues. And again, at the end of the day, licensing issues are always a very big thing. So that's all there was to the class 339. Draw on your screen during screencast with VB Doodle. Again, I've been playing around with a lot of different tools. I think this one works best. Um, although they haven't been playing, they haven't been updating it since 2009. I am using this on a 64-bit Windows 7 computer, and it works good. So, so even if they haven't been updating it, it still works on Windows 7, and I would bet that it should still work on Windows 8. Um, so, so yeah, so you shouldn't have any problems with that. So, uh, so I enjoyed uh, teaching this episode, and I look forward to seeing your next one.